Carpenters advocates are calling for change after the Utah legislature opted not to pass a number of bills aimed at helping tenants. Some of those proposals even had the support of an influential landlord group, but still didn't make it through. So where does the issue go from here? New specialist Daniel Woodruff is live at the Capitol with the story. Daniel? Well, Deanie and Ashley, advocates say these proposals would have really cost the state very little money and made a big difference for people who rent, but the legislature said no to each of them. Tanner Bennett goes to BYU and lives right by campus. He's rented for years and advocates for fellow renters. He hoped this legislative session would bring some wins for that group, but he felt things ended on a sour note. Unfortunately, pretty unsurprised. Multiple pro-renter bills were introduced but failed to advance. One would have required landlords to disclose certain defects to potential tenants. Another would have added a renter to a key state housing affordability group. And then... They're not asking for the world. Two proposals from Representative Marsha Judkins. She wanted to let renters get certain evictions wiped off their records faster and require landlords to give more notice of rent increases. I feel like there's an imbalance there that needs to be remedied. Despite support from a key landlord group, both her bills fell short. It was very frustrating. Senator Todd Weiler supported a faster path for removing evictions, but not mandating more notice of rent going up. There's a delicate balance right now in Utah law between renters and landlords, and I felt like that one was kind of maybe trying to alter that balance and, and, and give a little bit too much to renters. He says lawmakers have to consider property rights and not penalize landlords trying to pay their bills. We don't want to get to a point where no landlord can collect you know, a return for their property. Overall, not the tune Tanner wanted to hear. He hopes more renters will speak out and eventually push these issues across the finish line. There needs to be something that happens to make sure that our renters aren't being taken advantage of. Now, the landlord group uh, supporting some of those bills was the Rental Housing Association of Utah. I did reach out today to both the House and the Senate who defended their record on helping with issues pertinent to renters. You can read their full responses right now on our website, ksltv.com. Back to you. All right, Daniel Woodruff live at the Capitol for us tonight. Thank you.